So here is father of Marine, one of the Marines killed in Kabul um, at the airport. The the suicide bombing that happened on Thursday. Now I want to I want to play it for you because I like my friend who sent it to me. I'm very happy that Fox News aired it. Listen to this: how um, the father rejected meeting Biden, the mother walked out on him, and I just want to play this for a second because it has a little bit more to do with what Lieutenant Colonel Scheller was talking about. Uh, I actually declined the meeting with the president. Um, we went to a different room. When, when he came, we, we went to a separate room. I, I had no desire to, to meet with the president. Why? Uh, the way he has handled this, uh, everything he's done, every step along the way has been absolutely backwards. And I don't understand the process of how, how they came to the, the decisions that they made. Um, a high school kid could make better decisions than they've made in this. They, they have fumbled the ball every step of the way. And the I, go ahead, uh, Royce, you did, right? My sister no. Cheyenne did. Uh, Royce yeah. and my dad choose, cho chose to leave the room. I, I chose to stay with my brother's wife. She wanted the chance to look him in the eye um, and see if it was gonna be a sincere conversation or apology. Um, and I was able to stand about 15 seconds of his fake scripted apology and I had to walk away. I heard he talked, he talked about his son and he talked about the service. What made you feel like it was fake? He would not look us in the eye. There was not a ounce of sympathy looking at his face. It was a, he tapped her on the knee and said, I know what you're going through. I lost my son. It was so I, um, I mean, yeah. First of all, we know that this is not an accident. Secondly, we know that the guy is not a real person anymore. He's um, a husk. But um, there's also no feeling whatsoever. I want, I, want to, I want you to listen to this now. Here is a statement I think is pretty amazing. Pretty amazing. Now, Politico came out with an article, came out with a piece. Now, someone's leaking. And Politico came out with a piece that indicated that the DOD, that the Pentagon, knew that there was a attack coming, that there was going to be an attack at that airport, and that, um, and that these, these American servicemen and women were in harm's way, that people were going to die. John Kirby, who's the press secretary of the Pentagon, I wouldn't make him the press secretary or the secretary of an elementary school, he came out and had a really interesting time trying to answer a um, legitimate question that was posed by the press in Washington. Listen to this. I have a question, and it's difficult, but I hope you can entertain it. Uh, according to Politico, the U.S. knew where the attack would, or roughly where the attack would take place on Thursday and when it would attack, or when it would take place. Why were there U.S. troops at that gate at that time? Jeff, um, what I can tell you is that uh, we have been monitoring as close as we can uh, intelligence that uh, led us to believe uh, that we were in a very dynamic and in, in some cases specific uh, threat environment. Um, uh, number one. Number two, uh, as General McKenzie said, we're going we're gonna to investigate. We're going to get to the bottom uh, of what happened last Thursday, uh, 13 precious lives were lost we're going to take that seriously and we're going to and we're not going to investigate it in public uh, number three i am absolutely not going to speak uh to uh a, a, a press story that was informed by the unlawful disclosure of classified information uh and sensitive deliberations here at the pentagon just not going to do it okay there you go so you were not supposed to have this information low life that's what he's pretty much saying you're not supposed to have this information therefore i will respond with a certain level of indignation that you would pose such a valid question to me at all so they knew they knew now the question is why why was it necessary why why the sacrifice
Why? Why? We know the whole thing is bullshit, but why? And here's just a little something that should tell you about the people running the show. Just a little added something. From RT, service dogs left for dead in Kabul by departing U.S. troops. The American Humane Society has condemned the U.S. government for apparently leaving a number of service animals behind after withdrawing from Kabul. Footage on social media showed the dogs in cages and roaming around the airport. I'm devastated by reports that the American government is pulling out of Kabul and leaving behind brave U.S. military contract working dogs to be tortured and killed at the hands of our enemies. American Humane President and CEO Robert Ganzert said in a statement on Monday, to abandon even dogs to be murdered. That tells you just a little something about the people who are running the show. Dogs. The most innocent. Dogs and children, the most innocent. So, um, then again, PETA's not gonna say anything because PETA kills more dogs than anybody. (laughs) PETA kills way more dogs than the Taliban and the Chinese. So, crickets out of PETA on this one.